I got a box. I got a box. I know, highly unusual for a box to come in for me, said nobody ever. But I do, I have a box, and this is a box that was sent to me from Turnbull and Asser, and I think I know some of what's in here, but you never know what's in a box. I'm like a child, I'm shaking it. You never know what's in a box until you open the box, as we like to say here on the channel. But the reality is, is that we did several, well, gosh, months ago, we did a video with Turnbull and Asser where they had the launch of some 60th anniversary things. We oohed and odd in the store in the New York City boutique with them and enjoyed the moment, enjoyed the surrounding. It's a different thing when you believe you have it here. So I am going to, yeah, say it with me. I'm going to open the box and I'm going to use the Casino Royale. Oh, what? do it again, David. What? Butterfly knife to open this. Now, obviously, sealed, sealed for your pleasure. Um, so I am opening this for the first time. And don't cut towards yourself like I just did. Now, I'm being careful because there could be packaging in here, right? I mean, I don't want to cut into the packaging. I don't know. As a collector, do you save your packaging or not? Some people do. Some people don't. Uh, it clutters, you know. But some people like to have all the pomp and circumstance, which is why we do. Oh, mean face. Oh, there's quite a bit of packaging in here. So let's let's take a look at the environment to which this was shipped. Okay. So we've got some items in here. I'm going to sit you down over here and I'm going to go for the little box because sometimes little boxes can be fun. What do we have over here? This is very cool. So first of all, Turnbull and Asser, and this looks like it is maybe magnetic, I think so, or it's got just a little give to it. But beautiful navy inside. Look at that. Talk about knowing your audience. Uh, they put the tag, the Turnbull and Asser tag, at the top. So when you open this, can't believe this survived the uh, trip, it shows up like this. And I, I know what this is. Ah, uh, look at this. Hold on a second. Wait for it. This is a pocket handkerchief or a pocket square. And this is, by the way, I, I wore this crazy shirt for a reason. Not a Turnbull and Asser shirt. But look at this pocket square. That is fantastic. James Bond, 007, Dr. No. This is the poster art that a lot of us know. When we think of Dr. No, more sound effects like that later. But this is just so great. I remember seeing this in the store, absolutely loving it. There's, uh, by the way, take a look at that corner again, just as a reminder. This is hand printed in England. We've got some Technicolor going on, but I love, we've got the Turnbull and Asser at the bottom. This is so great because when I was in the store talking about it, this is so colorful that you could put this as a pocket handkerchief in your suit or in your blazer. Nobody would know what it is until you take it out. It's your, I know, here it comes. This, this hidden bond moment, this hidden secret. But you could have different colors. So you could have sort of the black and white. If you wanted a pop of red, you could just kind of mush it like that where it's red. You could even fold it over like a square. And I'm doing this on the fly here and make it so you could see bond coming in the top or maybe even just Sean Connery's eyes coming over the little slash, right? Right? How cool is that? So I'm gonna ask Mr. Brosnan over here to give me my cheat sheet. But this is the Dr. No yellow and blue poster silk pocket square. The silk pocket square is part of a unique collection celebrating the 60th anniversary of the first Bond film, Dr. No. Hmm. Taking inspiration for the poster artwork provided by artist Boris Grinson for the first French release of Dr. No in 1962, this limited edition pocket square is part of a small run of Bond products. Handmade in England by a silk mill that has led the way in silk manufacturing for over 50 years, this incredibly rare pocket square is a piece of Turnbull and Bond history. So very cool. And again, it's one of these things that it's artwork it's something you can wear. It's something you can collect. It's starting to tick off all the boxes. But, good segue, David. Speaking of boxes, 
there's something else in this same box. And I'm seeing lots of dots. And I know what this is. And you know what this is. Here we go. This is, and I love this one because when we talked about this in the store, here we go, here we go. It is, of course, the dots that you see in Dr. No. And this has become really synonymous with the 60th anniversary, as you know, because the dots uh, were predominantly like blah, 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 seen. You see them on the homage watches, the different branding, bottles, everywhere you see the dots. And I love the fact that the brands galvanized. They became one and very consistent around using the dots. But this is a great way to collect that. And again, it's one of these things, you put it in your pocket, and it could be red, it could be black and red, it could be all these different colors, or you could just collect it. It's just, yeah, it just looks great. Even on your, on your nightstand, I mean, it's something that can exist because it is a Bond collectible, and it's got the Turnbull and Asser pieces on here. And Mr. Brosnan gave me a cheat sheet, so I'm going to use it. But this is the red and black multi-spots silk pocket square. Limited edition silk pocket square is part of unique collection. Uh, part of a small run, as they said, and it is a colorful dot created by Maurice Binder. Handmade in England by a silk mill that's led the way in silk manufacturing. Uh, it's a rare pocket square. It's a piece of the Turnbull and Bond history. Of course it is. But there's other things in this box. This box is too big just to hold pocket squares. So I'm going to take out a box. And the box, <laughs> wait for it. Um, I love the fact that there is a certain amount of luxury and pomp and circumstance. I mean, here's the box, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the beautiful blue bow at the top there. You've got this great, very robust box. So we're going to take off the ribbon and we're going to open the box up. And inside is a TNA sticker but i believe if i open this up yes we do oh this is so cool you're gonna like this so i didn't really get to see this too much in the store but now i can see them in all of their glory here we go this right here is the pierce brosnan shirt done by turnbull and asser that you see in the istanbul scene after he uh, well, he's in the chair with Electra, the torture chair. He's wearing this blue shirt. This is a beautiful blue shirt. Look at that. My gosh. Shirt of Bond, Istanbul. Beautiful. And the nice thing about this shirt right here that I've got to kind of connect on is this is also the one that you see him diving in the submarine. I mean, this shirt gets a lot of playtime, but it also has some very approachable moments. Now, as usual, I'm going to cheat, but I think what I'm going to do is describe this shirt as I'm modeling it. Doesn't that kind of make sense? So we're going to have to take out the iron. I'm going to have to get out of this crazy shirt and jump into there. So let's go. The Hollywood magic we have on the Bond experience is nothing short of remarkable. Look, I'm changed. Yeah, amazing. So. I am wearing the Turnbull and Asser blue Oxford shirt. It's got the number three collar. Look at the reach on that collar. Yes, people. And again, this is from The World Is Not Enough. This is a three button cuff. I love that three button cuff. It says so much about Brosnan. And look at the weave on this. Let's get up nice and, oh, David, you did not button that last button. But we're not gonna cut it because, listen, I went upstairs I ironed this, I gave it a little bit of steam out of the package because this is from The World Is Not Enough. And the fact of the matter is, this is all part of the Brosnesons. What is that? Well, it's the fact that people are re-falling in love, as if they ever left, with the Pierce Brosnan films. And this is one, you can see it right behind me, The World Is Not Enough. That is a lot of people's favorites. So the fact that Turnbull and Asser not only did the doctor know 60th anniversary focus, they knew something that maybe some other brands didn't, that there is a Brosnesance going on and they should probably release the 
Pierce Brosnan shirts. And this is one of them. By the way, talk about detail. Hello. What's the point of living if you can't feel alive and wear your Omega watch that? Yeah. Yeah. World is not enough one. Tomorrow never dies one. But let's talk about the shirt. This is a regular fit. It's not a slim fit, but I've been kind of, you know, trying to pump my chest out a little bit. So now I'm like wavering between a 41 and a 42. I've got a 31 inch waist. This is a regular fit, but people look at this. I mean, this regular fit fits really well. I'm not saying it, it looks like a slim fit, but I did not expect it to fit so well. Look at the high armholes. When I think regular fit, I feel kind of like bat wingy or there's too much fabric coming out. So I gave you my measurements before the sizing on this, they got it spot on. And that's the nice thing about Turnbull and Asser. Once they do your measurements, take your sizing and everything, they've got it for life. Unless you change and eat a couple, you know, sandwiches or something here and there. But for me, this was perfect. It's a 15 and a half inch neck closes really well for a tie. And could I have taken a 16 for a little bit of extra room? Probably, but the sleeve length is perfect. You can see here, it accommodates everything, whether I'm going like this or folding my hand up. I love this three button cuff because it doesn't move, but look at the fabric. So this is a very interesting weave and I love something they did. Hold on a second. Each shirt comes with, I'll call them show notes, but they're fabric notes. Now this, this is the one for this shirt, but take a listen to this. This is the Royal Oxford. A Royal Oxford shirt created from two fold yarns. Mm -hmm. Two full yarns has a bolder weave, which gives it a distinctive texture, lending itself to both formal and informal occasions. The shirt is made in our workroom in England. That's impressive. But here's my point. You can actually see the weave of this shirt when you watch the movie. You know it's not just a solid shirt, that it's got an interesting weave. It's got some movement to it. It's picking up either the ambient light that's coming in or my ring light. And you can see that it's got some dimensionality too. You see the dark, you see the light. That is because of the weave and this collar. This collar is everything. They don't, they don't make collars like this anymore. This is a number three collar. So it's got a little bit of height when you close everything off, kind of makes you look a little bit military, a little bit more like James Bond. I mean, let's, let's be honest here, but ladies and gentlemen, there's another shirt in the box that we need to try in and it may connect to my favorite Brosnan film. It may. Let's go check it out. I'm so geeking out right now. So this is the cream colored Hamburg shirt, not hamburger. That would, that would have a ketchup stain right here. This is the Hamburg shirt. It's the shirt that Pierce Brosnan's bond wore in the Hamburg scene when he meets Q. And then he breaks into Elliot Carver's place. Yeah, this is that shirt. First of all, I mean, look at this. Look at this first. <laughs> yeah, it's got the French cuff. So I was able to put more detail on here, like the cufflinks, the Dunhill cufflinks you see him wear. And this has more show notes. And this is important to note. This is Sea Island quality Egyptian weave fabric, and it's not white people it may look white in the film, but this is a cream color. Now I don't know about you, but this guy doesn't normally go out and go, Oh, I need a new cream colored shirt. I always get either white shirt or pale blue or sometimes Navy if I'm going crazy, but this is my first cream colored shirt and I love it. I love that. It's not this stark overly white shirt which, you know, can be a little stuffed shirt. Sometimes it's cream. And so it does something to the psychology in the eye of it, but it does come with its own show notes, if you will, around the fabric made from the highest grade of Egyptian cotton. The staple fiber is slightly shorter than our West Indian sea Island cotton counterpart, but it achieves a similar feel by increasing the yarn counts over traditional qualities. The shirt is handmade in their workroom in England. Now I've got to tell you something. I read that and I immediately noticed when I put this on, it had a very different feel than what I just tried on from the other shirt, the, the Istanbul world is not enough shirt. This thing is baby soft. I mean, it does feel like sea Island cotton. And the fact that they did this with the shorter, tighter yarns makes it like silk. I mean, truly this thing feels like I do not want to take it off. 
And I'm still surprised, maybe it's the Bond Fitness journey, I don't know, but this is a regular fit. And you can see here, I don't think I'd want to take a slim fit. My chest looks good in there. It tapers down to my waist uh, as a shirt should fit. I've got a basic pair of my gray slacks on with a Prada belt that you may recognize from Quantum of Solace, but it fits perfectly. It really does. The arms, the sleeve length, the neck. And by the way, this is a Prince of Wales collar. It's not the same collar that is the number three. And I love the fact that in Turnbull and Astor, if you ever walk in to any one of the boutiques, you see all the collars laid out before you, unless you think there's two. No, there's a, a, a plethora, an army of different colors. This just happens to be the Prince of Wales collar. It feels great. It's not as high and robust as the number three. It feels like more like I would wear. This shirt, I could see wearing casually with a sweater. I certainly could wear it with a suit, but I just like it as just a normal shirt to wear out on a date night or out in the town. This thing is going to see a lot of action. The softness, the way it fits, the way it's cut, the what I would call a more traditionally connected collar to my personality fits all the bills. Then you add that little touch of nostalgia that it goes back to my favorite Brosnan film where I can embellish it with the correct cufflinks and the right watch. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got kind of a perfect moment here. So I will have to say a little bit of a confession. When I saw these in the store, I was like, oh, that's so cool that they're doing that. They're releasing some Brosnan shirts. In the past, they released Brosnan ties. So now they're they're well into the Brosnan Maybe they're the one brand that's embracing it the most. Could it be? But for me, it just connects back to the style of James Bond. And I'm going to do something. Hopefully, I'm not going to kill your ears. But I'm taking off my mic because... I want you to see this cream colored shirt without breaking up the lines with a go mic. I'll put it back so you can hear me. But this is just plain, simple. It gets back to the simplicity of what it does. It's what Turnbull and Asser has always done incredibly well. Turnbull and Asser does simplicity right. They do the brand right. So the fact that they're doing this with James Bond in a more focused, dedicated way than ever before, I'm excited about that. I'm also pretty excited about what they have coming up in the future. I have a feeling, call it a premonition, call it a, a hunch, a hunch that um, maybe this won't be the last of the Bond offerings that they have in a line of things to come. And we will bring them to you because I love talking about them and I happen to like wearing them out into the wild as well. So I'm going to do exactly that. And in the meantime, this has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.